Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing a very t different type of video today. I'm not talking about my <laughs> my issues with my cancer or my chronic illness or um, maybe inspire in some ways, but also to help a lot of my non-Latina friends. Now, um, I have a habit of doing a lot of uh, YouTubing with other um, followers. Um, I like to watch and um, I saw one of my youtubers of which I'm not gonna name names I don't want to put her on the spot um, she had seen the phrase mommy now she misunderstood the phrase mommy in a way that you know she's you know she's not a Latina she doesn't know where that is coming from you know she misunderstood it as a phrase of calling her a mom you know and um, when I saw the comment that she made or yeah the pretty much the comment she made I just was like wait a minute she she's misunderstanding how you know what this person might be saying to her and so I just put out a comment there and then next thing you know, there was like a chain reaction of comments from non-Latina women, you know, um, you know, not understanding what exactly is being meant. And also on top of that, there's other questions that were thrown in there too. So I'm making this little brief video for all my non-Latina friends out there down under <laughs> you guys are so cool <laughs> i really i am enjoying just listening to this or reading everything about it um but i think it's it's good to to teach each other the culture and um to understand um the meaning of certain words that are being thrown around it, it it's different love languages of course but also, I'm going to teach you young women out there um, what to look for. Like, you know, the words that are being thrown around sometimes can be flattering at times and also can be a little bit slimy that when you're dealing with players. So this is just my experience. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not going to sit here and analyze and say, well, this is what they mean and give you an educated response to, you know, like what the opposite sex is saying to you. I'm just giving you my experience as a Latina woman who has been dealing with this nonsense for years. And yes, I say nonsense because a lot of times I have received those type of comments and they usually are very negative towards me, you know? So unfortunately, you know, there's a downside to it. It's kind of interesting but, you know, it's good to know, you know, and I like empowering a lot of the women out there. Um, and I'm slowly but surely, you know, doing it through my channel, adding, you know, some sort some form of empowerment. Alrighty, so um so I'm gonna start off with the word mommy. Now mommy, you know, yes, it's a Spanish form of saying mother. But when you have the man in the opposite or women, because, you know, this is not gender specific term. So when you have the whatever um, gender approaching you and saying, for example, <laughs> the one young woman that put out the, her her comment about, you know, that what she was wearing, you know, and that person approached her saying, you know, mommy, you know, she took it as, hey, they're talking to me about me being a mother. And actually that person was trying to soften her, flattering her, you know, like saw her as a very interesting, you know, like the guy checking out the pretty girl, like, ooh, she looking good. She looking hot. You know, so they, a lot of the Spanish guys will throw mommy. So they were like, oh, I like the clothes you look, um, you're wearing today. You, you're looking good, mommy. You know, so look at the way I'm saying it. Like, you're looking really good, mommy. You hear 
a slight tone in my voice. You'll hear like trying to lure you in. And sometimes players like to use that term mommy just to catch your attention and to say, hey, you're looking good. See, and you know, like I will hear this all the time, like, tu te ve bien bonita, mommy. Meaning like you look beautiful, mommy, you know? So you hear that, that sound that I'm putting out. That's when they trying to lure you in. So <laughs> for Chanel, that's a type of guy that use your intuition like you like to say use your intuition if you feel a certain way about a person then that's like wait a minute he's trying to play me or maybe flatter me and then maybe to lure me and play with me that's a you know that's usually the term that they like to use you know or if you're not you know and i'm i'm gonna talk it as a person who use it as non-sexual way you know i have used mommy and i'm and i'm gonna be straight i'm not you know into women you know i i love my men <laughs> i love my men but i use the word mommy with other females and it doesn't have to be sexual and so when sometimes i go to a restaurant and I see um, the word, um, one of my regular, you know, waitresses, or if I see somebody that, that um, I'm approaching, but I'm doing it out of respect. And, and I'll be like, oh, how you doing? You know, buenos dias, buenas tardes. Como tu ta mami? You know, like I'm doing it as a, a form of being kind, showing kindness to another human being, you know? So sometimes we use the word mommy, not just because she's a mother, but sometimes we'll use it as a form of kindness, but that depends on the tone that's being carried too. And it's confusing. And I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, but it's so confusing. Yeah, unfortunately, Spanish people are confusing. <laughs> but, um, but I use it in that sense, like I'll see somebody, hey, buenos dias, como tu ta, como tu ta mami. You know, like I will say it in a really nice way and then jump into, you know, they'll jump into the, hey, you know, good day, what would you like to order, you know, and then I'll go into it. Or um, I also saw Luna Longwood's um, question about um, mamacita and mommy now i don't know if you're straight you're you're gay i'm not i'm not judging so if you call your mate and he happens to be a male i would not say mommy to him no <laughs> If, if it's a woman, then it's, that's another thing. Yeah, you say mommy to, to, to your woman. But if it's a guy and us, and I, and I am one of them, <laughs> that I would say to my male counterpart of um, if I want to catch his attention and, um, you know, want to make him feel special, I will say, um, you know, como esta papi? I'll use papi. Like, papi means um, daddy. Daddy. And please don't give me that whole mom and mommy and I uh, shouldn't be subjected to that. This is considered like a love language with Spanish people. It has nothing to do about mommy issues, daddy issues. It has nothing to do with that. This has to do with just the love language of Spanish people. And this is the norm for us. Like, you guys down under any part of the world who have their own love languages, you'll show it different ways. Spanish people, we tend to show it through this type of love language. So me, if I were to see a male counterpart and I already got to know him and, and I like to be around him, and I'll be like, 
Oh, Poppy, you're looking really good. I love you, Poppy. So you hear my tone. It's just like you want to just like ah, grab that guy, you know, and that's that's the guy you that's your man, you know. So I would use that term to my male counterpart as of the love language, like, you know, you're my poppy, you're my man, you're my, you're my everything, you know? And if, if she, you know, your counterpart had to be uh, a woman, had, you know, is a woman, then you could use that, yeah. You could use that as, uh, I love you, mommy, I love you. You're looking really good, mommy. And, um, and you mentioned about mamacita. Now, mamacita, it's considered, it can be love. It can be a love language. Um, mamacita, I tend to use it too, but not in a love language. Again, we all have our different phrases of using things. And I would use an example. Um, if I happen to be walking, and I live in New York City, so... I'll, you know, New York City is always busing. As of lately, it's starting to get busy back again. Um, and you get crowded and you hit, you know, you happen to bump into somebody. And a lot of times I would use mamacita. I was like, oh, pa perdona mami. Oh, pa perdona mamacita. You know, like you try to be kind and respectful to that other person that you, you know, you just happen to meet. You're not being disrespectful. You're just trying to be kind. So I will use mamacita if I'm trying to be kind to somebody, not in a romantic way, just being kind in general. If that is your love language and it works for you, that's fine. <laughs> that is fine. Um, but if you if you want your counterpart to be calling you, you know, a little, uh, then you could say, yeah, you could call me mommy, you know, and yeah yeah I'll be your mommy <laughs> but you know it's it depends on you know how you guys interact with each other now in fuego and fuego is uh it, it's talking about fire but it's I would not consider that as a love language <laughs> I'm sorry in fuego is um you know fire in fire you know, so it's not really considered a love language. Um, that, no. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. It's not even that close for that one. Um, let me see what other love language I could throw into. Also, there is... Um, mi amor. So... A lot of times, if you get a really, really, um, a nice man who is not slimy and, you know, want to catch your attention, um, you'll get a guy, you know, being really romantic and, you know, sometimes they'll throw that love language of, yo te quiero mucho, mi amor, te amo, meaning like I... I I love you a lot. I care about you. I love you a lot. Um, mi amor. Meaning, I, I love you. My love. You know? So, those things are the love languages we throw at each other. You know? Yo te quiero. I, I care about you. Mi amor. My love. Um... Te amo, meaning I love you. I lo you know, you can feel the passion in those words. So it's, you know, those are the type of love languages that we tend to throw each other at, you know. And if it's done tastefully and respectful, yeah, that's a turn on. I'm not going to say all oh, they're trying to be slimy. But you, you have to use your intuition and your um and listen to the tone i mean it's hard to listen to the tone when you're doing it on on social media you know and i'm not gonna lie it it tends to be very confusing and especially when you never even dealt with someone from a different culture 
And I'm not going to sit here and say, well, you know, you got to listen to it and you got to follow it. No, you have to use your intuition and how it's being um, brought out to you. And, um, and it can be very confusing. Unfortunately, me, I've been played so many different ways, like a violin, that, <laughs> that every time I hear those little, little phrases, it's just like a red flag. Like, okay, you're coming in in a bad way. We are not doing this today. And I I become the queen of swords and I start, you know, chopping people down. Because I'm not, I dealt with so many characters over my life that I'm not going to let myself get used anymore. I'm sorry. I will listen to, to you for a few minutes, but if I see something that is not striking me well, I'm not letting you in. And I'm the toughest cookie <laughs> as of lately that I'm not letting myself get played by any man you know so it's you know it's an interesting time for me <laughs> but um let me see what else that i could throw in for you gals um let's see mi amor te amo um yo te tengo mucho cariño now that term I would say is like you're trying to um, show that person that you have that care for them that I I care about you a lot yo te tengo mucho cariño meaning I care about you I I want to sh I'm sharing my a little bit of myself to you you know that I care about you you know, so these are like type of phrases that um, that is done tastefully, with respect, you know, and and again, you know, it's it's hard to 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 see what direction this conversation is going to go. But like me, I will sit there, and if I see certain things popping up, and I see red flags being thrown around. You know, I try to give the person the benefit of a doubt. I don't cut them down right off the bat. But if I see certain inconsistencies in conversations with, when it comes to the opposite sex and I'm seeing like the constant trend that they like to use, then yeah, I will cut you down. I don't even care who you are. So I will cut you down and I will just stop the conversation. So... um you know, again, these are the type of um, things that I have dealt with um, throughout my life <laughs> when it comes to my male counterparts. You know, and then a lot of times I don't deal with a lot of Spanish men these days. <laughs> I've gotten so tired with that. And so I'm now exploring other cultures too. <laughs> so, but don't bombard me with that, please. <laughs> Um, but you know, these are things that, um, that I think it can be shared amongst you young women out there. And, um, all I can say is just be very careful on how it's being approached and, um, and it can be confusing, you know, especially when you're dealing with romantic counterparts of different cultures, you know, they're very smooth talkers too. They're very, very smooth talkers. Um, so if you ladies have any more questions regarding about what are the phrases being said or what phrases you've been hearing, please let me know. I mean, I think this is so entertaining for me because this is something totally different for me. I, you know, I was not planning to make this video at all. <laughs> I just saw the questions and I was like, you know what? Let me make this quick video and help you ladies out there with um, these um, answers because I could type it down, but I just wanted to really have you girls or ladies see my the tone that I'm bringing out in these phrases because it's, these phrases are being thrown in different ways. So if you hear a certain phrase, but you hear my tone, you'll get an idea, okay, this woman is showing me that it's a very sexual tone to that word. And it could be, you know, the same word for a different 
um, ways of using it. So, you know, I just wanted you ladies to get a feel of how it's being said and how is it ringing out. And so at least you don't get like lost and confused and get the, the wrong impression about what is being translated to you. Alrighty, so um, again, if you guys have any questions or comments regarding about this particular video, please, I am not a psychologist, I'm not trying to, you know, but I think, you know, coming from a, a woman's, a Spanish woman's perspective, you know, I'm just throwing it out there for you ladies out there, and I help you girls or ladies um, get through your love languages. <laughs> different types alrighty so um so thank you for viewing my content and if you like this video or if you wish to see something similar in some point in the future please uh leave a comment in my comment section of youtube or and give the video a like and if you're new to the channel you're welcome to subscribe um and again Thank you, and I hope to see everyone soon in my next video. Bye.